seeing your son in such a dangerous position. Obviously, any parent would you know, fight to protect their kid at all costs. Defending Jacob tells the story of a prosecutor whose 14-year-old son is charged with the murder of a classmate. We have some bad news. The print we lifted from the victim's sweatshirt is from your son. Wait, what? It's tricky when you're trying to create a miniseries because you want to make sure each episode has a strong engine and a purpose. There's got to be an explanation. I didn't do it, I swear. We begin to see this family tested. Um, she begins to question everything. Do you have any doubts about Jacob's innocence? No, of course not. It's all about the family, how they experience it. The foundation is rocked. There's a lot of trust issues, a lot of guilt. It kind of opens all those doors. Is there a part of you who thinks he might have done it? How well can you ever know anyone? And I think the show forces us to think about those boundaries that exist for the people we love. Once you open Pandora's box, it's those scary corners you don't want to explore. The twists and turns of the thriller are fantastic, but it's this crisis of parenting that makes it unique. What are you willing to do as a family? How well do we know our children? How far are we willing to go? The interesting thing about this show is that it's not shot as a TV show. It's shot like an eight-hour movie. I know you think you know Jacob, but you don't. Did he do this? There's a cliffhanger for every episode. I can't find a move. It's because you don't have one. Jacob, how's he doing? Whoa, whoa! You think this is a joke? I can't play this game anymore. Did you do it?